We are here at Korea Hub Dam informal settlement where the illegal connection of electricity has just caused the death of an 11-year-old boy. Although there were no eyewitnesses who could testify to what exactly transpired at Korea Hub Dam informal settlement, it is believed that the young boy might have been passing through the riverbed and in the process accidentally stepped on one of the illegally connected cables in the riverbed where he lost his life. His death came as a shocking revelation to the family members. I'm so shocked. It's my first time to see such an accident. Eh? Really, I don't have, at this moment, I don't have anything to say. But I will give everything in God's name, really. The city of Vinduk has, on several occasions, called on residents to refrain from illegal electricity connections, but it appears this message has been falling on deaf ears. Following the fatal incident, the city of Vinduk says the guilt parties will be brought to book. They are just at fault and they just need to be punished. And if you are having a bunch of more than 20 or 30 wires going through the riverbed, supplying to various combustions, and only one wire happens to cause an accident, do you want to tell me that the owner of that wire is more at fault than the other 29? I, I, don't, I don't think that would be fair. Although we will follow up the issue and try to find out where those particular wires are coming from. Although the city of Vinduk disconnected the cables after the fatal incident, there is no guarantee that residents will not reconnect the cables again. First offenders of illegal electricity connections are normally fined 4,000 Namibia dollars, and serial offenders can be fined up to 12,000 Namibia dollars. For now, a life has been lost, and it remains to be seen if someone will be held accountable for it as investigations continue. I'm Aaron Mshaukwa reporting for the News on One.